Okay, so if you missed uh, part one of this video, uh, you missed uh, level design director Jeff Eleanor and myself, Zach Cooper, the Splinter Cell community developer playing as the spies in uh, Spies vs. Mercs Blacklist. Uh, this is Particle Accelerator, and uh, we were able to uh, capture two terminals in our playthrough as the spies. This is obviously now uh, our chance we have to defend, and we can already see that uh, Terminal C is being hacked. Um, we've already covered some basic strategies, Jeff, and, uh, and, and you know some of the core philosophies behind uh, playing this game, how it differs from uh, your, your typical multiplayer experience. Uh, but how do things change from the uh, first-person perspective, being behind the gun as the mercs? Right. And uh, really, as the merc, you want to leverage what you're good at, which is delivering damage downrange at a distance. Spies are extremely dangerous up close, and especially if you're underneath them. So. Uh, I'm going to use my tools here to, to keep him at a keep him at a distance, and make his life miserable. Oh, easy. Cool. I just used my flying drone there and got two spies. Actually, they were both uh, cuddled up there in the high spot. So that I mean that brings up a pretty good point in terms of sticking together, communicating as a team. Um, you you want to stay close, but you don't want to get too close. Talk to us about uh, how that works. Right, exactly. Because I mean, as a spy, you're strong when they don't know where you are. Uh, so you're kind of putting all your eggs in one basket. If you all get discovered together, you, uh, you can die as a team. As the mercenary though, staying together is a completely different proposal. I kind of want to be able to be around other mercs so that I can see them and they can see me. Because this, uh, there we go, we're going to A. Uh, because basically, if I run through a doorway, I'm putting myself at risk. Doorways and choke points are dangerous, so I want another mercenary to cover my back in case there's a spy waiting to DFA me. And that's another good point: is you you want to make sure that you're you know you're not only checking your corners, but you're 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 looking up, you're looking down. Um, exactly. It's, it's it's a dangerous game, and uh, there are many ways to go about it, many ways to die. And uh, I think you know one of the things that we want to showcase in this in this two-part video series is is also how to stay alive. Now, right. as the mercs, uh, right now, we know that, you know, this terminal is being hunted. Our, our job is finding the merc. I, I've just been stunned on my screen, which leaves me very vulnerable to a uh, melee kill. Um, what do you see on your screen? Where, where are you looking? Are we ha we're, we're clearly having some issues trying to find this spy, and we're spread out In pretty fact, well. Yeah, we took the spy out. I, uh, I saw him up top, dropped the drone on him. We're good to go. I think he's back at the console, though. Watch out. All right, so that was able to reset, which is good. It puts us back at zero. Yeah, see the advantage of covering each other there. Now, that red silhouette you're seeing on the slide is because I placed the tagging device earlier, that Intel device. And uh, as it pans around, it's highlighting the spies. You can see that here it is there. They haven't discovered it and destroyed it yet. Now, I'm also, uh, you know, playing a bit of a supporting role here. I was using uh, the special ability. Oh. Look out behind you. <laughs> Thank you for the warning. Alright, so we're going to see. And we're uh, we're trying to make some magic happen here. Is there uh, is there like one specific gadget that you deem to, to be a must-have uh, when you're when you're kind of customizing your Merc or, or playing as a Merc? Uh, absolutely and ironically, I don't have it right now. My, my favorite must-have is actually the proxy mine. It is such an evil, evil device because you can plant it really anywhere. So it's about putting it in unexpected places. And the next time I respawn, I'm definitely going to use it. So I just, I just used one myself, and um, I've, put it, I've put it right by the, uh, the terminal. So hopefully there's an unsuspecting person who walks by. Now, they're obviously exactly. going for a different uh, one. They're going for basically A Basically, they've lured us away to see because we all went there, and they're uh, they're hacking back in the server room at A. So what I'm going to do quickly here is that they still haven't they still haven't discovered my Intel device. I'm uh, I can see it still tagging them out there. And from from my perspective as a supporting cast, um, when you tag it, that means that I have access to uh, to all that info. And I can see that there's a spy that's right here at the corner trying to wait for me, and I was able to to pick them off. Now they did use smoke, which disrupts my personal vision, which you can't see. We're watching. They restarted the hack successfully there. All right. So so uh, what happened was I uh, we killed the hacker with a line drone. But another hacker in the area restarted oh. the hack. Okay, I have uh, 
I've also used my uh, disruptor suit to hopefully uh, render the, oh boy. Okay, so that, now you didn't see it from my screen, or maybe you saw part of that, but there was a spy who was trying to engage in a firefight with me. Obviously, um, in Spies vs. Mercs Blacklist, the spies now have guns. Absolutely. Uh, talk to us about the theory behind that, but also really what it means for the gameplay. It does change the, the game a bit uh, compared to classic, just because spies can be effective shooters. But as you can see, uh, it is, it's not a great face-to-face -face confrontation tool still for the spy. It's the same gameplay, it's just uh, the gun becomes sort of one of the tools they can use. Oh, there's another spy hanging out on the ledge here. Oh, I'm down, I'm down. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I just got killed there. Uh, what I'm using right now is the is the respawn camera, the security cameras inside the area. You can tell that one of them has been damaged because I got static, but I'm basically oh. trying to find spies so that I can tell my teammates about them. And uh, and I just I'm, bit the dust. I'm gonna go back in. All right, so we've got about a minute and a half, a little bit more than that. Um, what's your ideal play style, and how much does it change at all mid-match? Are you changing loadouts based on uh, you know how the opposition based is? based on what my enemies are doing, okay. especially in Blacklist. Um, I just got stunned with the uh, stun cross roll there. I'm gonna stay back and be ready. But uh, absolutely, Incursion on terminal you know, underway. the way that I play the game is extremely dependent on what my enemies are doing. So now they, they're they still searching for their uh, their first. Oh, I just saw someone. Yeah. Yeah, so we're able to kill a defender. We got to, oh, and I just got DFA'd. Oh, right behind you. Right behind. Oh, yeah, a little late. Oh, oh. Teammate got the kill. Nice move, guys. All right. So now we're looking at the cameras, and we can see that there was a, a guy who's running on the top yeah, level. Yeah, I've, I've actually got a spy right by the console. So I'm going to jump him down. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to be able to take a look at how the customization works in the near future. Um, but if you can just give us a, a brief overview as to, uh, you know, the presets and, um, and how they differ. Because you're Absolutely. starting with three so on each side. What I'm using right now is the uh, is the hunter preset with the flying drone. And uh, basically, what we do is we give the player three presets as the spy and three presets as the merc. And it's as part of our balancing strategy and also how we introduce people to the game. So I've uh, I've got right now on the merc team I've got the flying drone preset. I've got the disruptor ability, which is what you're playing with, that disables gadgets and electronics. Not over yet. There's still a and uh, and finally, there's the, uh, the Peacemaker, which has sort of a, a regenerative simulation pack that uh, is a good tool against if uh, spies are, a lot of spies are ganging up on you with guns. Right. So time is extended yeah, as they're trying again. to get there. Uh, this happens, uh, once a hack is in progress, the time is extended. So we have to stop the, the last hacker to stop the clock. That uh, this triangle is coming up on my vision mode here is because of the uh, the vision mode that I've equipped as as the merc with this preset. When people start using guns, they pop up as a, as a little triangle on my screen. Oh, oh. oh. I just got sliced. Oh, somebody's a saboteur. You see the saboteur spy uh, shut down my flying drone there. And how did they do that? And you just uh, got, you just it's got. It's like a torso ability. You press the right bumper. It sends the disruptive EMP blast. I think they might get this hack. And then that's any electronic device. Exactly. That, that would destroy my tagging device or proxy mines as well. Seventy-eight percent. So we got three mercs coming in right now. I've been detected. All right, so we've got a good uh, wad of mercs coming in. We can cover each other. Oh. We're about to lose our station. Do something. Where are we as far as the visual? Hacker up high. Up high, that's... There we go. All right, so they got it. They got it, though. But they we got still it. got the so match. They got one hack for dignity. All right, that was nice a lot job. of fun. Thanks for doing this, Jeff. My pleasure. All right, I'm Zach Cooper, Splinter Cell Community Developer, and this has been our first look in depth at Spies vs. Mercs Blacklist here at San Diego Comic-Con.